Hi, welcome to a very rainy day of Omni Factory. Um, we really should do something about like the rain in this area, so I kind of have like a temporary crutch to the situation I can think of. It involves an angel block. Uh, let's make one of these. Missing two feathers. Hey, look, it stopped raining. Um, is that a wolf? <laughs> uh, where's chickens when you need them? All murdered. I'm sure there's chickens around somewhere. Bunch of piggies. Piglets everywhere you look. Piglets. Piggy, 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 piggy. Here we go. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, now that we got that solved, let's go over here. Make our angel block very careful. And uh, we want glass. Um, let's get these coins out of here. And the terracotta. I think that's it. Okay. So we need to count. I want to do this whole place. We're looking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so 16 from here. Go up really high. That should be good, right? Right about here. And then we're gonna go 15 out. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll break this. And place that there. And now we can use this to go out as far as possible. Okay, let's fall down and see where we land. About here. So we're here. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I'm gonna do ten more. Okay, so. That should be good. Go back up. And when it rains, it won't rain in that area. And we'll still have sunlight because it's glass. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now, if we fall, we'll land on this. Cool. So this area is now rainproof. It's a happy moment for me. <laughs> Alright, so it will rain, but this area will be rain free. Our little working area here. And there's just glass in the sky, it's not that big a deal. You can always break it down later when, when we have weather control. Or build something up there. Um. So yeah, now that that's done, we have quite a bit of patterns. 63. And one of the first things I want to do with those patterns is automate circuits, right? So uh, we're in the pattern thing. Let's do this one. Make a pattern for that. Make a 
pattern for this. Oh, and you know what? We need molecular assemblers. Oof, I almost forgot about that. And we also need interfaces. Crafters, huh? So, what would be a good amount to start? Let's start from the corner, so molecular assembler, interface, interface, molecular assembler. Let's start with just two of each, and then we'll go from there. So let's make two of these. Oh, buddy. I need iron bars, right? Oh, no big deal. We can make those real quick. Get like a stack of them bad boys. Uh, and then craft this thing. Two of them. Grab some grains. Uh, craft those together. Like so. Here we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and chuck these in here and make the next thing, which is gonna be these. So I need these infinity gears, so grains again. And uh, gears, iron gears, looks like we're out. Unless I didn't have any. Uh, where the heck's iron? Why isn't this set to number? Um, I think now would be a good time to make a bunch of gears. Are you still the gear thing? No. Let's do that real quick. Let's do that. Throw the rest in here. That back. So we need two gears. Let's go ahead and throw these in here. There's one. Ooh, that's fast. And here comes the second. All right, throw that in there. Here's our infinity things. Wait, I needed four of those, dang it. There's another, ah oh, crap. I need four more grains too. Looks like we're going to need more grains. Let's make a flint and steel real quick. Do two's worth. And as soon as we get some like patterns up, I should also automate the grains. We're going to need fire water. Alright, that shouldn't be hard. <coughs> Fire water and a vacuum chest. Oh wait, I can just do this. And the next set. There we go, let's get our greens. Hopefully these last us to the automation. I could also put like a crafter that makes flint and steels automatically and puts them in a mechanical user or whatever. I know there's a block that right clicks. Is it a dispenser? I think it's a dispenser. And yeah, put a timer on that, but fire water is better. It runs infinitely and doesn't use resources once it's made. Um, there we 
go. So now that that's done. Oh yeah, I need to make the others of those. Grab two more of them. Throw that. Oh wait, no. Wait, yeah, two of those. And then four of those. Yep. And this can go back for the moment. Still got a whole bunch crafting good. Alright, so those are the gears. Um, we're gonna need a series of these. Uh, can I use like rubber wood? Jungle wood, whatever the case. And let's get nine more. And then we can craft these. And craft uh, two of those. Two crafters. And now these. Bam and bam and grab you. Alright, two molecular assemblers. We're gonna do this and then this. And let's go ahead and make two interfaces. Okay, we just need the frames good. Um, wrench, two of those, two of these, and two of you. And I, th I should use an anvil. Do we have one? No, I'm gonna craft one real quick. And... I don't know where I want to put it. Probably right beside this. Let's go ahead and name these... Uh, molecular... Assemblers. Yeah, let's give it plural. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. I did spell that right. Yeah. Assembler, assembler, yeah. And then we're gonna place these here and there. And we're going to show them so we can access them in the interface thing. But now I just need to connect this. How do I want to get the cables up there? I know that's not level with this, but the whole wall is going to have them eventually. Um, do I want to run the cable through this? It only needs to connect to one piece, and then it will connect to everything. Um, yeah, I think here would be fine. Is that where it is? Yeah. So, run it up this. Alright, and then we'll do this. And we're going to need some of that conduit stuff. Um, do they not have a color? Uh, that's the sandy one. What's this one? Okay, good. Go over here. Um, do that. And we can put this back. 
and work our way up this. Then, I'm going to go ahead and just do this for now. We'll remove that later. It will just be in that. And it will all be connected. So, now that that's done, we can throw our first patterns in. So let's go ahead and do that and that. Okay. So we should also automate the components for them. Um, that I want to be made in an assembling machine, so no to that, no to that, um, we can teach it this. Jungle, uh, that's going to be from, oh wait, this isn't the pattern thing. Header. <laughs> Let me go ahead and type jungle. And make a pattern for that. Should I or dictionary this? No, I shouldn't. How about that? No. This. No. There's nothing to or dictionary here anyways. But there is for this, but no, we don't need that. I just want to use jungle wood. This is going to be from... Rubber. Uh, crap. Okay. Oh, and um, this. Get rid of that. And jungle. There we go. Some components for you. Yoink. And now that you know how to make all that, you should know how to make this. And you should know how to make um, the things. This, this, that, that. Uh-huh. There we go. You're gonna go ahead and do all the different things for making the circuits. So now that you know how to do that, you should also know how to make these. And I think that's it that we can do without, like, machine automation. So now I should um, automate interfaces if I can. So there's going to be you. There is going to be this, this, um, did I make this thing yet? There we go. You should know how to make this. Ah, uh, that's fine. Wait, no, 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 put or dictionary for that one. And you know how to make everything here now, so now we can do this. And we gotta put the right processor. Crap. Dang it, this is not the time for this. Now let me put these away. Uh huh. OK, 
Okay. Alright, so is this at 16 yet? Yeah, so now we're just waiting for this to fill, right? Yep. And when that fills, the glass will start filling up and then we won't have this glass problem anymore. Pretty excited about that. Should be good. Let's throw this all into the system. And go ahead and craft these. Wait, you know how to do this now, so uh, let's craft one of these. That was simple. There we go. So now we can come back over here, and uh, we were doing the robot arm, right? Um, crap. Uh, get rid of that. Put this. I turn or dictionary on, sure. And then, last thing we need to do is this. It doesn't know how to make those yet, but that's fine. All right. Uh, or dictionary doesn't need to be on for that one. And we can do this and this. And we need a, a couple more interfaces. Let's, let's, let's see here. So one there, one there. So two more interfaces. Go ahead and craft these, those, and two more of these. Bam, and go ahead and uh, craft these. And I gotta name these. Uh, let me do our some copy that okay for the future reference uh, let me see if it copied properly it did good okay uh, do that And then we can pop one there and another there. All right, now we got some more playing room. So this is gonna be uh, crafting these from the pure stuff. Um, should I do or dictionary? I don't think I want to. I think I want to use the pure stuff always because it's cheaper because um, when you make those you get two per one so it's like half the cost and sand is basically free. So yeah, I'm not going to or dictionary those. Let's do that and let's do this. Uh, this we can probably use nether quartz for because we have infinite quartz. It's the Certus Quartz one, but I might automate that too, actually. Let's do that. And actually, that one I'm going to put Or Dictionary on. I can use both, but it will craft the pure one. So let's go ahead and do this. And... Okay, everything here is good. Let's do that. And let's do this. Uh, we can just do the interface. 
Um, there, there. And let's go ahead and craft. Oh, what else is missing here? Nothing really. Uh, another thing I should automate is probably acceleration cards. So this thing, fine aluminum wire. Uh, crap, wrong place. This and this. Use the pure one. And let's go over here. Oh wait, I should have did it there, but it's all good. Alright, so if I were to put cards in these molecular assemblers, they would need five each. Okay, so ten. But not just yet. Um... I should do some processing patterns for this now. So I need to craft uh, five advanced inscribers. We have four, so I need four more, which is going to take inscribers. We're going to need four more of these, so let's see here. Dark steel plates we have, I believe. Or wait, no, we don't. We have, we have dark steel. I haven't automated the plates yet. Let's go ahead and make some of those. And how many are we going to need? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. One more set. There it is. And let's go over here. Um, throw these in here. So you should know how to make those and those already. So everything here is good. Um, this should be good. I should teach it how to make hoppers. Uh, that's going to be ore dictionary. So go ahead and do this. Oh, wait, no, that and that. And then this. Ta-da! And let's go ahead and craft. Uh, let's get four of these. Missing two Fluix crystals and two engineering processors. Okay. So, engineering. Ah, uh, we already have a bunch here. Let's do ten of those. Oh wait, no, we can't. We have to do six. And six processors. Oh wait, no. S circuits, my bad. Uh, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll go down here, get rid of that. And throw that with this and that. It's more than what we needed, but that's okay. Throw that in there. So now we can do Four of these, hopefully. Oh, we need the four Fluix, that's right. Um, Fluix was... Uh, nether Quartz. Charged Quartz. Speaking of Charged Quartz, we're kind of hurting for that. <laughs> um, let's charge these up. Is that eight? No, it's three. And three redstone. 
Alright, we're going to charge this up. Come on. There it is. Then we'll throw these in here. Oh, I have Flux in there. Cool. Um, I'll put that away. Get that out. Throw this in here. Alright, so subscribers. Alright. Let's see how you do. Doop -doo 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 -doo. Crafting all the things. That's one down, two down, three down, and four down. Awesome. I'm going to have to teach you how to make the wrenches, too. Alright, but we got our four inscribers, so let's put that there, 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 and there. Okay. I think that's fine, right? Yeah, down here. The thing is, is do we have the space underneath? see here. That's good. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And that's okay. Okay, good. So, we need... Oh, but there's a problem. I guess we can pull out the back. We'll push in from the bottom, pull out the back. So there's going to have to be five interfaces and then four import or five import buses. That or one interface going into a crate going through item ducts into their appropriate spots. I think that would be a better, cheaper alternative. Maybe I'll do the import buses at the bottom and then we'll do the item ducts in the back with the, the crate and the interface pointing into the crate. Alright, so, um... How much space do we have left? The whole thing, so... Let's do... Import buses. Where are they? Right there. You know how to make that, right? Did I teach it the course? Yeah. So, that. Let's make five of those if we can. Missing two pure nether quartz. Okay. Quartz. I also have to automate those. Um, why is it missing the pure nether quartz? And I give it or a dictionary. Uh, let's see here. Um, what am I trying to do? Yeah, I thought I put or dictionary on that. Hold on. Allow substitutions of input components. Is it supposed to be like that? Let's try it now. Nope, same story. Interesting. Ah, uh, wrong one. It's this one. supposed to allow substitutions, but apparently it isn't working. I thought it did, but it's all good. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, missing two. Okay, well, we'll make them. Uh, it's sand and quartz dust. Oh, 
Okay. So... Let's go ahead and craft that, and then that. Chuck them both in there with some speed upgrades. Ta-da! And we can throw those back in, and let's go ahead and make our five buses. Nice and fast. There are our buses. So, we're gonna go ahead and break this. And do that, 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 and that. And then do one, two, three, four, five. Guess that gets rid of the need for you. You and you. So now we can do that, that, and that, 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 and that, 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 and then that. Okay, so now import buses are on all of them. Now we need a crate. we're gonna put right here and then we need an interface let's go ahead and craft one of you that was super fast and we're gonna put that here and hold on I need to break that and let's do this nope wrong side okay there we go and that should be connected to the system Oh, I need to name interfaces, my bad. Uh, this one's going to be uh, Inscribers. Inscribers. Okay. Inscribers, perfect. So if I go here, I can see it. Okay, and we need item ducks. Crap, do I not have any? Give me some please. Oh, there must have been on me up here, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, pop, 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 pop. You're going to pull out. Uh, round robin doesn't matter. It's gonna be inserts. And then we can do our thing. And uh, we need to put our presses and our uh, whatever they're called. Yeah, presses and these things. I'm going to do this one as silicon. Wait, now we're going to do this. Yeah, yeah, this one as silicon. Then this one will be calculation, logic, engineering, and then that will be the finalized spot. Okay, so we need filters. Don't I have some? Okay, so you are silicon. Let's see here, silicon. We need the silicon plates. And you need uh, calculation plates. Oh, Sirtis Quartz plates, my bad. Uh, Sirtis Quartz plates. You need a diamond. Oh wait, no. 
uh, gold plates. Let's do this. Gold plate. You need... Um... Diamond plates. Wherever the heck they are. There they go. And this needs a um what are they called? It needs silicon uh printed silicon printed logic calculation diamond or engineering and then the uh, primitive processor okay so now when I make the patterns and put them in there all should be well so uh, let's go ahead and do the pattern so logic is going to be machine. Um, that equals that. Uh, we're gonna put that here. Wait, no, that's the finished product. It's gonna go uh, there, yeah. Um, these are called processors, right? Uh, yeah, so that. We want this. We want... Engineering. And do we want the, um, wait, no, let's just do this real quick. Calculation, engineering. Uh, we want printed silicon. That's going to be the first one. Printed, printed. Uh, calculation. Logic. Told you we we're gonna shoot through those patterns really fast. <laughs> okay, and then we can do calculation, logic, that. So now if I need, say, a processor, I could say, oh, we're kinda low on these. Can you make me three more? And we're missing gold plates and silicon plates, but everything else is good. I'm going to have to teach it how to make those. Um, plates should be easy, so let's go ahead and craft another interface. And we're going to go ahead and let's craft two more if we can. Gold plate, silicon plate, okay. Let's do that. Silicon. And silicon needs to be smelted. Pretty awesome, right? Okay. Then we'll go over here. It's been raining and it's perfect under here. Love it. I'm glad I did that. Um, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Wait for that to get done, then we'll throw the gold, and then we'll start automating these. 
And then once those are automated, I'll have to switch the machines to HV and add more machines and automate all those. So, silicon, gold, let's grab the dark steel plates. So amazing, so amazing. There we go, grab those. And then in here, it's so much nicer when it's not raining versus this. This is like dreadful. <laughs> here it's nice and peaceful. Okay, so put that in there. That, 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 and Let's craft those two interfaces. Like do -do 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 -do. This will be so much faster with acceleration cards. Speaking of those cards, can I craft ten of those? Is that a thing? Missing pure fluix. Fluics. Uh, that with sand. Grab me a stack of those, please. Throw that in there. Grab three of those. I should gr make three more on top of that. So 13, so I can have three in this. There we go. I'm also going to need some for all these as well. But, uh, let's see here. Let's do 13 for the moment. It's crafting those po uh, processors awesome. That means it's working. Oh, it's not doing the visual. Oh, you know what it is. The particles. Um, video, animations, something. Is it block animation? Articles and now. Redstone animated. Oh, it's terrain. Yep, there we go. But then, look, frames drop. That's why I have that turned off. <laughs> Uh, we'll just leave it off. Yeah, it's worlds better with that off. Um, that can stay off, and that can stay off too. See? Noticeably, noticeably better. <laughs> okay, I got those, and we're going to go ahead and stick those in here and then these will go in here so five in there five in there so now if we craft something big I don't know like um let's say 20 it is it'll just be like <laughs> Acceleration cards made all the difference. 20 that quick. <laughs> um, anyway, so we got our interfaces. Let's grab those. And maybe I should do four interfaces so I could have them named. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll start with compressors, so let's name these. Uh, what am I doing in there? It's in here. Compressors. That is how to spell it, right? Comp 
suppressor. Yep. Bam. And then we can punch this out. Wait, maybe I should have it attached to that. So there's more inventory potential. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do that. And that should still be set properly. Alright, so that's gonna need a connection. Maybe I should have it at the bottom. And then have it come back into itself when it's done. And then we can get rid of the uh, the double. Oh, but if I break this, it's going to lose its name. Rip. Let's go rename it. <laughs> Good thing I copied it. But now we're going to go in here. Place that not connecting anything so it doesn't need arrows. Uh, it's gonna pull out green round robin. In and then red out back into the system. Um, so yeah we're gonna need... Do I have ME cables going all the way over here? I don't think so. Let's see here. What are we looking at? No, no ME cables. I need to run ME ca cables all the way here. And I need more than that. Um, let's grab some more. Uh, in here. And in here we can go down and find the connecting point. It's not that way. Oof. I'm gonna have to carry it through the whole lot, ain't I? Okay then. <laughs> That is not attached to it. None of this is. The closest is over there. Maybe I should carry it through this whole line here. Something like this. And then over. Up and then in. Whoops. This way. Oh. Uh -oh. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's there. So you're gonna go this way in with that and then start going that way. So. And we need to go this way. be able to cover this all up. And go back over here.
and run around and bring it over. In that case, I should probably bring a P2P this entire way and take all those cables back. But we'll leave it as it is for the moment. Um, yeah, we'll leave it as it is for right now. Until I upgrade it to HV. Alright, so... We're gonna go up to this, and then we need to spread out. Um... That way. This way. And then we'll connect out that way. That way and this way. So something like that. And then... Oh wait, now you can be these. So that. 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 And that. Amazing. And then we can cover this. Oh crap. Alright. Everything as well. Oh wait, no, this can be open. I'll have to put grass facades there, but for the moment we'll leave it. Um, so now that that's done, time to start putting patterns in here. You know what? Eventually, I can run the ME cables through here and have another interface on the top if we need more than nine patterns for this, which I know we are. I could have 18 patterns going through the same area there. Which will be pretty nice, so... You need to know how to make the uh, gold plates. in a machine and you need to know how to make silicon plates uh, where the heck are they? right there in the machine and then we can go in here and in compressors do that oh wait that and this uh, you also need an interface with this, but I kind of want to keep that normal. Maybe I should make the multi-smelter now. Um, multi-smelter. What are we missing for this? This. So iron and nickel. that get some invar put this away grab those I guess you know what let's keep that for a moment make me the grass variant please uh, I think I just needed to but I'll bring that for right now Interfaces are full block. We don't need to get rid of that. Okay. Alright, so now that you have this figured out. Just gotta wait on a little bit of invar and then we can do the next thing. Those need to be plates too. Let me teach you how to do the plates. Uh, invar plates. Uh, 
Alright, play it. Fire plate, 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 and fire plate, plate, not yellow garnet. Envire, there we go. And that can go in compressor. Let me craft like uh thirty of those if you can. You know what? Let's let's do forty. Then we can check this in action. Should Oh, does it need an interface? Or like a crate? I think it does. Yeah, it needs an inventory, otherwise it doesn't work. Well, I'll be damned. So you... Um... Yeah, let's cancel that. Uh, I have crates on me. You're gonna have to be in the floor then. Haha, <laughs> which means I'm gonna have to break it and rename it. Yuki! <laughs> Um, compressors, bam. So we're gonna break this and stick you right there. Compressors, pop, pop, pop. And then you're gonna be like this. Oh wait, no. You're gonna have the inventory there. Oh, but that's the thing, is how would I bring it back into the system now? Um... I could... pull out of the crates and into the interfaces down below on both sides. So, something like... this, and then that. And then on the up, let's get rid of that. Uh, and on the, what is it, east? Nope. Not the east. The west? Oh wait, no, that's going to be north. There we go. And let's go ahead and set this to insert. We'll do brown, brown, always extract, oh, but it's got to be the finished product, ah, I think I'm going to have to do this differently unless I want to use filters, um, that's fine as it is. We're gonna get rid of red. Red's gonna have to be at the top. We're gonna have to have interfaces take things in. Yeah. Just an interface with hide or... Yeah, let's do interfaces. This is gonna be red going in. Get rid of that. And we're gonna have to set it to hide. It doesn't need a name. And we need to connect it somehow. I don't know how I want to connect this. Maybe I want to pull out from the ground, like here. Move over and then pull? Wait, it would be there. Move over and then pull, yeah. So something like... that, but then it just gets in the way. Arg. I'll probably have to just come out here then. Like this. And then do something like this. Hey chicken. 
That's going to have to be it. I mean, well, what other way can I connect this without having visible cables? <laughs> and then we can run this like this through the others. Going out this way with the other machines and then connect that way and connect this way. Um, but for now we'll do that. And right here we're going to go through the floor and then go that way. There we go. And get some bricks. And cover some stuff up. So you can be like that. That. the grass thing. Oh wait, we're good. This is the grass one right here, I believe. And pop! Okay. So, now that you're done, this should work. There's no reason not to. Compressors, patterns are in. You're pulling out green, round robin, comes out red, goes into the system. So, I guess if I want more recipes, I'm going to have to stick interfaces in the sides. I guess. Um... Yeah, that will do, I guess. Okay. So, let's go ahead and try this out. So, um, what did I need the plates for? I don't even remember. <laughs> um, Anyways, we'll try it. Let's do... Um, gold plates, 40. They go in. Round robin, no problem. And then they should be going out, yeah. Right back into the system. And that's gonna hide good stuff. <laughs> uh, na, 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 na. Another option would be to Huh There might be a way to actually use the two interfaces that we have and not waste one by moving this interface up. So what we want to do is do this, put a crate on top of that, and then put the interface right there, pointing into it. And we can name that one compressors. And then we can do... Uh, let's name this compressors first. So this, that, bam, bam. So do this. Bam. And now I can show you can get out of this. That's going to be set to red. 
And then this is going to pull out green round robin. There we go. That's beautiful. And then we can have this one go into this, and then this one go into that, and then this one go into this. And then to connect these top interfaces, we're going to have to do this. And we'll get rid of this for right now until we stretch it out. I could also bring this up one higher. Like that. Alright. Oh, you know what? This is going to have a problem because the interface is going to be there. It has to be one down. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be down here. Which is fine. And then the interface can sit on top. We can pull right through. Any direction. Even right through this cable going this direction if need be. Alright. We got more compressor space. <laughs> um... Yeah, so let me keep automating some plates, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, we were going to make the multi-smelter. But we needed the... heat proof casing, which needs the invar frame. We need more invar. That's right. Craft me 40 of that, please. Do do should craft no problem. Yep. Uh, this will be super fast when we get better machines. It's still at LV. <laughs> but yeah, let it do its thing for a moment. I'm also going to have to keep all these in stock, and this is our location for keeping things in stock. That's the sole purpose of this room. Keeping fluids in stock in the system, keeping items in stock in the drawers. This is our keep in stock room. I know you can put crafting cards in interfaces and then put an amount of items you want to keep crafted at all times with the storage bus on them. I don't want to do that because I don't want this to be flooded with things as we're crafting things. Taking up, uh, you know, like making it hard to look at things we're trying to craft, but also... Um, taking up crafting CPUs and stuff like that, and molecular assemblers and all that. I would prefer to avoid that just by having this do it on its own. Completely separate to the auto crafting system. Um, okay, that's done that there and what do we need a wrench and this can be done hammer and some furnaces uh, some annealed copper cables Ooh. copper Uh, oxygen. If we do this in the blast furnace, there's annealed copper. One bucket per. Maybe I should do like... Uh, 50. That's how much we can hold in this, right? Oh no, we can hold way more than 50. Uh, let's do 16. And we'll use a tank. Okay. Uh, 
oxygen. Oh, not nitrogen. Oxygen, please. Let's go over here. Stick that in the fluid input. Bam. And let's make that annealed copper. <laughs> we'll automate that soon and keep a bunch in stock by giving it its own blast furnace. But let's all automate the multi-smelter first. So, how much annealed copper do they need? Oh, not much. Let's do all 16, maybe? Patient. Grab that while we're at it. And... How's our aluminium looking? 4,378? Yeah, we're good on aluminium. <laughs> That won't be a problem at all. I could also keep like 40, like 8,000 annealed copper at all times, like right here. Wait, this isn't, this is an even number. Dang it, I was hoping it would be an odd number. I guess one more here and one more here, and then we're gonna have to make more up here. I could also share space, but I really don't want to do that with uh, copper nickel. <laughs> we'll do that up here when we get to like canthal and stuff. This whole segment will be shared furnaces. Um. So, oh yeah, I, I gotta get the nailed copper, dur. <laughs> Should be done. There we go. Nice, quest complete. Let's fire all these suckers. Okay. into the system. Those can go into the system. And these. Uh, that's gonna go there. This can go in. That can go in. That can go in. That can go in. And let's do rubber. Uh, crap. Assembler with rubber and 24. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's grab 32 rubber then. And throw that in here. Stick these bad boys in there. Good, it doesn't conflict with the binder. a nice little head start here. Alright. Let this finish. Put that in there and then we can make our multi-smelter. There we go, multi smelter. We're gonna need more heat proof casing. Heat. There we go, let's craft that. Nice wrench little setup. A uh, hammer wrench.
I don't know how much I need. Hope that's enough. And we need the copper nickel stuff. Copper nickel. I think I need two stacks. Oh wait, no, I only need one stack because it's it's one row. So let's uh, macerate these and then we'll smelt. So that. Baby chicken! <laughs> well, at least we're popula populating the area with chickens again. And we'll throw that in there. that. Smelt it. Can't wait to have the multi-smelter. We're gonna take the copper nickel out of the multi-smelter when we make the candle so that it cooks 32 at a time instead of 16. But for now, this will be our nice little starter setup. So, two stacks of that is going to get four stacks of the wire. And the coils are uh, 16 wire, so four would be a stack, so I actually only needed 32. But we'll do it. It's all good. Um, yeah, a stack will get two stacks. Two stacks will get um, the eight that we need. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. in here with a wrench and got our eight but now we need input bus and then export bus uh, bam bam bus Input, export, put and output, yeah. Input, output, dang it. Here we go. And then we need a CEF. Do I want to do LV? Not really. I want to do. I mean, we could do LV. But no, I want to do MV. Can I teach this how to make holes? Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, what about CEFs? Uh, this thing. i change it to that. Processor. Bam, that was instant. Uh, we're gonna do that. You know what, I'll leave it on. Uh, energetic alloy. Dang it. 
You just can't win. Uh, do that. EF, can you craft it? Missing for energetic alloy, that's no problem. Here we go, a nice instant. Um, pull, let's craft two of these. And energy input us. Energy energy input. Yeah, there we go. Uh, one, two, wait, what? Yeah. Weird. Copper cables. One, two. So where do we want to put this is the question. I don't really have this space. I could put it here. So like... Uh, this. Yeah. Uh, energy inputs can go. In the back here. You know what? Let's do it here. Energy input. Energy input. And then this. And we'll put our input bus. And output bus is here. And we'll go ahead and do this. That, that. Bam, 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 bam. Whoops. Yay! Idling. We're gonna put our CEF right here. We need the cables. Energetic two rubber. Uh, we're gonna need eight. Melt that down. Then we're gonna have to wrap up once this is connected and uh, automate it next time. So let's go over here and put this in here with that. Put those in there and do that. And now we got HV level for this bad boy. It just needs power. For the power, I'm going to go ahead and put a P2P there and run cable through here. Bam, bam, bam. How's there stainless steel? Two. I need more. Um, need manganese. Did we get more of it? Hopefully we did. Yes. That will get better when we get better machines and improve the odds significantly. So let's make that and smelt it. Just need one piece and then we can make the plates and kick some booty. Oh. Grab that. And the cool thing about how this is set up is if we need to manually craft something like this, for example, we still have the ability to, ability to do that. You just do this, go in, 
then they'll go through uh, that right there. See? <laughs> can still manually be used. Um, so, PTP. There we go. I'm gonna put you right there. Set you, and now you have power. This says power, everything's good. Um, just need uh, import and export. I'm gonna need actually a crate here. Actually, no, I could just put an interface on that. will be just fine. And uh, an export bus here. That or I could pull into the interface with a cable. Yeah, that will do. So, something like... Um, this. Pulling out and into the interface. Let's make the interface. Everything's crafting. Hey, it's still animating. Huh. Could have sworn I turned the animations off. Options, video, animation. I don't know what I did, but kind of did it. Anyways, let's grab that. We're going to name this Multi Smelter. Multi Smelter. And we're going to go there. Everything's good. Then we can do this. And you need to be connected, so underneath. Do this, this. That's connected, and now we have access to that. So let's go ahead and get some grass things, and then it's wrapping up point. So that goes in here. get a few more. Okay, 11 sounds like a good number. And we can do this, 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 that. And ta-da! Everything's good. It's got power. It's working. We got our interface. Things when they get done will go back into the system. All is well. I might want to actually put a crate here. Have an interface on top of the crate and one here. Yeah, let's do that real quick. My bad. Let's make one more interface and a crate. One more. Let that do its thing. Gonna need to make some more acceleration cards to speed up those things. There we go. Let's name that multi smelter as well. Both of them actually. Multi dash smelter. Okay. And the crate. Okay, that's much better. So a crate goes there. Input automatically takes out of the crate. There's no need to configure that, I don't believe. So then we're gonna do this. And does this connect? It does, cool. Pop. We're gonna do this and that. And then we can do this just for the hell of it. Just to make sure. 
and then that's going to be removed and instead we're going to pull up into this uh, extract insert there we go to get back into the system so now we have a place to do 18 patterns instead of nine Okay, so that's going to be the wrapping up point. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.